I bought these shoes before I heard that the Adidas Taishan was coming out, and I wanted to make first impressions with these and skate them. And I got these shoes for $75, meaning that no one's paying me to do this video. I get to give you my real opinion about how these shoes skated for me. This is gonna be my first impressions of the Adidas Pro Shell ADV. So before people start telling me that these are not skate shoes, they are skate shoes. They are the ADV version of the Pro Shell. There's like a brown colorway that I see more commonly, but I didn't want to get that one. I wanted to get these all white ones. Came to this beautiful skate park down by the border next to Mexico. And I'm gonna lace them up. I'm gonna skate some flat ground, see how they feel, how that flick feels out the box. And then I'm gonna skate some ledges. And then we're gonna even try to skate some gaps. We're gonna see how well the impact protection is, how they skate, and basically just an overall first opinion of these random Adidas that I never heard of. I thought they were cool, so I got them. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, there's an eyelet underneath the strap. Some shoes that come with the strap, the strap comes all the way off. This one is stuck on there. Oh, but you could do one of these. Is that Steez? You skate it like that? If you skate it like this with the strap hanging off? If Tyshawn did it, it would be cool. He would look a lot cooler than me doing it. So I think I'll just wait till I see someone cool doing it, and then maybe I'll do it. But for now, I'll leave it strapped up and just put the laces to this eyelet down here. But that's cool, you have this option. These are basically like a high top superstar, right? And every superstar that I've ever skated, oh, hold on a second. This is comfy. This is really comfy. That's nice. Dude, this tongue, it feels thin though, but it feels like there's like some padding in there that I could feel all the way up my foot and it feels kind of comfy and cozy. I honestly bought these because I thought they just looked cool. Not knowing that I was gonna skate the Taishan, so two Adidas shoes in a row, but I'll do something different next. But the thing about these is this toe box. See how like it looks like it's separated from the rest of the outsole? It's almost like they build the outsole with a cutout for the toe to fit on top of the shoe. And then that almost makes me think it's a cup sole, obviously. Oh wait. Yeah, this is a cup sole. This is a cup sole, right? But look at this. Can you see this piece right here? It's like this like line. It makes me think that maybe it's like a Volk? What does it say in the description of this shoe? Cause like when you look at a shoe, you're supposed to be able to tell if it's a cup sole or if it's vulcanized by looking at it. But then some of them, they're getting tricky now because now it looks like this is the entire cup and then the bottom of the outsole is just slapped on there, making it sort of like a Volk. But I think it's still a cup. Hold on, let me Google something. Is the Adidas Pro Shell ADV a cup sole or a vulcanized sole? The Adidas Pro Shell ADV has a cup sole. And is it constructed differently than other cup soles? Yes, the Adidas Pro Shell ADV has some unique construction features. It typically has reinforced elements and might use different materials for added durability and support, tailored for skateboarding. You know, usually I read all the descriptions for these shoes, but I'm gonna have this guy read the description for the shoes. Can you tell me the description for these shoes? The Adidas Pro Shell ADV is a skateboarding shoe that reimagines the classic Pro Shell silhouette with several premium features. Also retains elements of the Adidas Superstar, such as the iconic shell toe and a signature lock-in strap designed specifically for skateboarding. This model is known for combining style and functionality, making it suitable for both performance and everyday wear. AI is coming into skateboarding too, because I don't want to read these descriptions anymore. I'm dyslexic. I have a hard time reading them, so that was great. Okay. It makes it feel like I have a tiny toe, but it also feels like it's pushing down on the like top of my toes a little bit right there. Maybe it'll feel different when I start skating. I hope I don't have like the same thing that happened with those Vans, those Aves. Now that I have them on, I'm going to go and skate some flat ground and see how they feel. Woo. I haven't stretched or anything. I need to stretch a little bit. Okay, let's see how the first kickflip goes. I'm guessing that the first kickflip is not gonna go super great because this toe is different than every shoe that I've skated lately. <laughs> All right. Oh, but if I put it off to the side, oh shit, that's grippy. Oh, never mind. That was nice. That felt really good. Damn, dude. No wonder people like this shoe. It's like super grippy. <laughs> Couple more flat ground tricks. Try to skate the ledge. Usually, like. Cup sole shoes, depending on how thick the side of the cup sole is, determines like how good I feel with flips. So if the cup sole's high, it feels really good. But if the cup sole is kind of low, like this one is, I don't feel as confident for some reason. Like I feel like I'm not flicking off the rubber as much. I just need to adjust to it a little bit. And then I'll feel good with my heel flips. I feel like I need to flick a little faster than normal. Like I can't let it slowly flick off because then it rockets like it just did right there. That was better. Overall though, feels pretty good. How do you do a heel flip again, Danny? That's how it feels. 
Feels pretty good so far. Ah, still good. They feel really stiff, so I don't think that they're gonna get broken in like this session. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna take a little bit, but they do feel good. I do like how stiff they feel. How do you know I heal? I'm gonna give 10 solid kickflips and see if these laces break. One. See, that's what I thought was gonna happen. I have to put my foot like farther off the toe. Yeah. Usually I do kickflips with my foot over here, but when I'm kickflipping with these, I'm putting my foot more over here. This toe box is catching my grip tape a lot, making it so that the flick is super quick. It's kind of nice, I just gotta get used to it. Oh my God. I can't feel my board, so I feel like I'm not set up right to ollie. That might be part of an excuse, but also something I noticed. I'm just embarrassed that it took me like 10 tries to do a manual. It's okay, we're warming up still. I feel nice in these, like I feel confident because it's like a mid. Skating is mid. Oh really, is this mid, Danny? Didn't expect all that, did you? If you want real ankle support, get an ankle brace. I wish I could just be the guy filming stuff and someone else could be funny and entertaining and charismatic and handsome, but looks like it just has to be me being stupid on camera instead. All right, let's try to do this line. Oh my God, dude, it really like grabs your toe when you're kick flipping. Damn it, they're comfy. And that pushing down on the shell toe on the top of my toes doesn't affect my skating as much as I thought. I thought like when I was gonna like push, it was gonna like pinch my toe like those vans did, but these actually feel okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Now I guess we can start trying to skate some gaps with them. My foot did hit the ground and I need to tighten my shoelaces actually because I felt like it slipped to the side a little bit. Like it came out of the cup sole. So that tells me this cup sole is not that deep. My foot's sitting like on top of the cup sole, not like in it. Because if it was sitting in it, I don't think my foot would have slipped out that easy. But I'm gonna try to tighten my shoes and see if that keeps it snug inside the cup. Because right now they're kind of loose. Oh, but also when my foot hit the ground, it didn't hurt. So cup sole magic there, that's good. Oh. This is like a forced air. It feels good though. I mean, th then again, this gap is small. So after this one, we'll do the bigger gap and see if my feet still feel good. Oh no. You know, I think tightening my shoes actually made it so my foot didn't slip out of the outsole this time. Okay, no matter what, I'm landing on this guy. Oh, I got wheel bite. Dude! Fine, don't worry about it. I'm testing these for you. So if you haven't yet, you see this percentage of people that haven't subscribed yet? It's like 90 something percent. Subscribe, thank you. All right. If I land this one, then you have to subscribe. Oh, God. Gotta hit that button, dude. Gotta hit it now. On low impact things, it's great. But let's do something a little bigger. I feel like, I feel like a little bit bigger than that, you're gonna need some extra protection. I feel like this is good if you're jumping down something like this. I'm five foot 10, so this is like what? Like, but yeah, maybe like three feet. That doesn't sound like a lot, this is actually really small. But anything higher than this. We got enough uh, bales, right? To demonstrate the impact protection. Okay, okay, I'll do it then. My shoelaces came undone. This is the worst, especially when you're trying to land a trick and you're crunched for time. Okay, right here. God, keeps coming untied. All right. It's as far as I'm gonna roll away today. Ah, overall, I say get them. They're good shoes, subscribe. After yesterday's session, these shoes held up really well, but not as well as I'd hoped. They are starting to fray the shoelaces pretty bad already, as well as the stitching around the bottom eyelid. After jumping down each of those gaps probably over like 100 times, I didn't really beat up my feet that much, and I didn't put my insoles in here, but I probably will in the future just so that way I don't beat my feet up more than I need to. But I think you'd be fine if you just have the stock insoles in these. Other than a little bit of damage, these shoes fit true to size, feel secure as hell when you're skating them, and 
The flick is amazing with them. These are cheaper than those brown ones, so definitely get this colorway, because I think it's super worth it. All right, peace, I love you.